Well, hello everybody, and I hope you're having a happy autumn. It is officially now fall season. So, uh, I wasn't planning on doing an, an empties video for this month because I'm going to be gone for most of October, and I thought I would just do one combined at the end of um, October, what I'd burned in September and October. But it kind of turns out I actually burnt quite a lot this month of September, uh, burned and melted, so I thought I would... Uh, Go ahead and do an empties video for September just ending. And uh, we're going to start out by showing you first this, not an empties, but something totally full that I just got today, but I have to share it with you because it's so freaking cute. I have to say Bloom and Prosper Candle Company has really, really stepped it up. I mean, this year, there's just been so many, every season, so many different things from them that have been interesting, different packaging, different lines, like... And, and uh, my experience with them has just been pretty good. I mean, like the scent throw on most everything has been really good and the performance. So uh, they had a, a whole line of like uh, antique apothecary creepy candles out. And this, I just went to Ross today and there were a couple of these and I got one, one of them. Lavo Mysterious Curiosities Vampire Bat. I mean, how cute is that? And the uh, the scent of this is pumpkin peppercorn mystifying orange. And uh, it is just that. A, it's very pumpkin-y with a bit of the spiciness, but very pumpkin-y smell. Uh, the other one they had was a curious cat, which, is, uh, which was licorice. I don't particularly like the scent of licorice, and that was a black wax color, but... Super cute, right? Seven ninety nine. Smells great. I'm curious to see how it does. So, uh, let's start with some things I melted. Um, I did do a Yankee Candle votive, which I melted in crisp morning air, and I think this is really um, a misnomer. I mean, I, I there's nothing autumny, even though the picture suggests it. Nothing autumny about this scent to me. It's just a uh, it's very powdery, in fact, baby powder-like. And a um, little watery, misty, little baby powder, and that's about it. I don't really get anything autumnal about it. So it threw okay. Like, actually, I could smell it pretty darn good. But, um, yeah, I, it, it wasn't autumnal. Um, so... I've been burning tea lights, too, lots of tea lights, and I did get some Botanica pumpkin spice tea lights. Now, I, I got these figuring it's basically ornamental, you know, that uh, you're not going to smell much, and I, they don't smell like anything really burning, but um, they have performed really well. They've been, they, I've had good, you know, no problems with the performance on these, so that's a good thing. Um, also... I was a little disappointed with these Chesapeake Bay. I got these Chesapeake Bay um, tea. They're large tea lights. Is that I don't know. Is that what you call this size? Just a large tea light. Um, the scent was saffron pumpkin, which was absolutely like a divine. I mean, it's pumpkin, but there is the saffrony. It's different. It's like very autumn. It's a little bit different. I really, really liked the smell of it. Um, unfortunately, again with these, and I was thinking I might get a little throw from these, but burning them, I didn't smell it unless I was standing right over it. Um, I have a couple of lanterns that this is really a nice size for, and it's good because it did burn like two or three nights, so, you know, they did last a good time and performed well, but they just didn't throw, if that's going to be an issue for you, and, um, yeah, I mean, I was expecting these might throw a little, but they didn't. Now, but you want to talk about throw, I have to tell you. Okay, so I was at uh, Bath and, Bed Bath & Beyond, and they were clearing out, like, I guess last year's autumn scents. This was several weeks ago. And I got a whole bunch of ambiescence uh, wax melts that were 75% off of the last marked price. Now, they originally were $2.99. They had been marked down to $0.89, cents, and they were taking an additional 75% percent off. So these freaking things were 25 cents. And I've, I haven't burnt any of the Thankful Harvest yet, but I've melted uh, some of this pumpkin picking. And I'm just telling you now, 
on this video because they're not really empties, but like, oh my gosh. If you have a Bed Bath & Beyond and they're clearing stuff out and you can get it, get it. This is by far the strongest thing I have melted this month at all. I mean, it's outrageously strong. One, I've just been burning one cube at a time in a melter and it has permeated the apartment so strong so good I mean just a really pumpkin-y spicy pumpkin spicy smell with actual pumpkin so good I haven't burnt the thankful harvest one yet but I got like five or six of each of these and some other candles too but I, I got a bunch of these because these are amazing if you guys have a store, check it out, see if they get them on sale, and grab them up, because they are amazing. All right. Five minutes into this, and I haven't even actually started on the candles. Okay, so I started the month kind of transitioning, because as I said, I'm going away for most of October, so I wanted to really get into fall stuff in September. But I started out the month with Bath & Body Works Pistachio Ice Cream. Beautiful picture here which says uh, roasted pistachio, frozen almond cream, lush vanilla bean with essential oils. This one was, it's kind of like, I don't know about ice cream. I mean, it's just sort of like, an, it reminds me of some other almond vanilla kind of candles that they've done before. Just to me, I don't know, the ice cream, I guess maybe a little creaminess to it. But it was good, and it, uh, it didn't have any performance issues with it. I melted it at the end, which is why the wicks are all over the place. Uh, but it was uh, not the strongest. I'm going to say maybe a six on throw. Like, I could smell it, but it wasn't as strong as I would have liked it to be. Um, now, this other candle here from White Barn, Woodland... Dude, I really liked this candle. I mean, it was super nice. Woodland Bark Water Mint Verbena Sprigs with Essential Oils. This was strong. Okay, it was like an 8. I mean, it threw really well. And it just was such a good, like, woodsy, woodsy kind of scent. But it had a little bit of, of, um, what is it in there? The Verbena, yeah, the mint. There's a little bit of, like, mintiness light mintiness with a woodsy scent. This was so nice. I would totally, totally get this again. And great transitional scent if you're into transitioning. If you have to transition, I mean, I don't have to really transition. Like, I don't get it. Just, like, start burning fall stuff. But that's a definitely one, a good in-between, you know, could go in-between. Uh, another white barn, and I do have stuff other than Bath & Body Works here, White Barn Vanilla Bourbon Peach. This one, dude, this one, super strong. <laughs> I mean, this was like, this was one of those, like, I think if I'd have burnt, and they would have smelled good together, but if I'd have, if I'd have melted pumpkin picking and vanilla bourbon peach, which would have smelled good together, but I think the neighbors two blocks away would have been able to smell it coming out of my house. Super strong, definitely like a baked vanilla. I don't get any bakery in it, but baked vanilla with, with that bourbon note to it. Uh, vanilla bourbon, lush white peach, sugared musk, essential oils. This was a good one too, and I didn't have any issues with it. Great throw. Um, okay, now I did one in the uh, Feathers line. Um, these are so pretty. There are several different ones I got. Um, this was Bloom and Prosper, okay? Now, I have burnt a couple of others in this line um, that did really well, that I had no problems with. This one, I like the owl on it. It's called Sunset Woods. doesn't have any scent notes, but it was definitely... <sighs> on cold, I mean, it smelled kind of leafy and kind of... Uh, like a little bit of fruit, but kind of a greenish, lemongrassish element to it. On burning this one, it really was pretty much fruity. I mean, like papaya, like kind of more fruity than I really wanted it to be. Fruit and floral. Not that much woods, and I, I kind of wanted more of the wood scent. So, And I have to say, this one, I'm sorry to report... Um, I know this is Bloom and Prosper, and I just said how wonderful they were, but uh, this one didn't throw very well. 
I mean, it was very light, maybe a four. I could smell it in the room, but just barely, barely, barely. Um, so, I don't know. I mean, I've had good luck with the other in the feathers line have been good. This is the first one I've had that's kind of on the weak side. So, Sunset Woods, I probably wouldn't get again. But I would get other ones from them in that line. Uh, here's one. What is this one? Yankee Candle Caramel Apple Cake. This one I got in a clearance. Um, so, I've been kind of waiting to burn this one. Hmm. Yeah, this is really nice also. This was such a just good apple-y with a lot of caramel. I mean, there's some apple definitely, but there's a lot of sweet caramel kind of cakey, bakery kind of stuff going on here. Caramel, heavy on the caramel. Um, really nice though. I mean, there's enough apple in it that it gives it a little bit of a freshness. Um, this one threw like a champ, also, I have to say. This was, I mean, Yankees are very touch and go for me, but this one threw so well. It was a three wick. I don't know if that these this is just working out better as a format, but it threw really, really well, and uh, was I loved it. Um, it. You could say it is a little sickeningly sweet. I don't mind that, but I know some people do. This is very sweet candle. But yeah, nice autumn. Makes me want some apple pie. It sure does. A uh, couple more here. Okay, this one was one I was really interested in burning. Uh, this is uh, also from Bloom and Prosper. Hypnotic Absinthe Brew. Um, I don't know if you've ever had absinthe or are familiar with it, but this does, um, you know, pretty much smell like absinthe. It has a very herbaceous slightly mint but a lot of herbaceous even a slightly licorice but it's very slight it's it's not a heavy licorice thing a lot of herbal scents going on here like green twigs and sticks and things uh, <laughs> I don't even know what they really even make absinthe out of and I know there's different kinds I went to an absinthe bar in New Orleans and they had like 30 different kinds and I picked one and this reminds me very much of it um, I don't know if you've had it. Like, this stuff is super strong, man. I had one, like, little thing, and it was like having five drinks, I swear. Um, but I loved it. <laughs> Absinthe. Um, this one smelled great. Like, it was just such a nice scent for the autumn time, too. Super, super herbally, woodsy scent. Oh, I loved this one. This was a three wick. Um,. No problems with the uh, burn of the performance on this one. I had pretty good luck with the candles this month as far as performance stuff. Okay, and I think we're down to the last one. Um, now, I have a, a lantern that can, can't hold Bath & Body Works or bigger candles. It can just hold, like, smaller candles. So I've been getting smaller ones lately and trying them out because I've been seeing a lot at, like, at this two ninety nine price point and thinking, okay, let me try those. Because I would like, uh, the lo the lanterns are usually in the foyer, and I would like them to throw out some scent in their kitchen area, kitchen front door area. Uh, this one, I try, I smell some different ones. Again, Bloom and Prosper has put out a line of, uh, you know, autumn ones. They all have pumpkin, I think, and there's pumpkin and cream that smells really like coffee. There's uh, pumpkin and ba berry and pumpkin and pumpkin and something else. And I wanted to try this one because, you know, I do love my pine scents, right? This one was pumpkin and pine, uh, which you would think, okay, that might be kind of weird, but darn. You know, I had a lot of good candles this month, so it's hard, but I kind of, this kind of might be my favorite one of the month. There's definitely pine, definitely that pine scent, but there's definitely a pumpkin scent, too. And it's and it's definitely also a bakery pumpkin. Like this is an eating baked pumpkin pie filling kind of smell with pine. And this little thing was super strong. Also, like it's burning. It was burning in the foyer, the other end of the apartment. And even when I had all the windows and everything open, like you could smell that sometimes stronger than what was burning here in the in the main room, overpowering it. Um, 
and that's a, that's a positive thing for me. That's a really good thrower, and yeah, no performance issues with this one. And this little thing burnt. I don't know, probably five or six nights, full nights of burning. Um, so I went out and I got some more, not uh, different scents, just to try them because this was so good. And actually, I did find the last time I went to one of the last times I went to Ross a big. Uh, pumpkin and pine for $7.99 and I got it because I'm like this was so good I want a big one okay that's what I burnt this month so let me know what you burnt what you got planned I'm not I'm not going to be here for most of October I'm going on a cruise well part a trip and a cruise to um, Tahiti I'm going to be staying in Tahiti for like five nights and then I'm going on this 14 day cruise to throughout the Tahitian Islands and the Cook Islands and the Marquesas and I'm coming back here on Halloween day morning. So, um, yeah, so I'm not going to be burning that much. I leave, like, in another week and a few days. So, um, but I'm going to continue to burn, and I'll check in and see what happens when I come back. I don't know how much I'll have burnt. Maybe I'll just wait. But I'll definitely do a what I'm going to be burning in uh, November. or uh, Yeah, in November for sure. Okay. Uh, thank you for watching and I hope you have a good month of burning and a great Halloween I'll see you guys after Halloween <laughs> or maybe before I don't know who knows we'll see